It's June 29th, 2010. I have been involved with Destiny since 2008. No, um, June 2007, June 28th, 2007. Three years, my three year anniversary, I did get a cake and a, um, a new car. It's great, thank you Bernard. And um, wow, three years been amazing. I spent the last year on, on the farm. Um, quite intense experience and uh, uh, but I would say that even before I got to the farm my life had changed. Um, I might not have changed as much as I would have liked but uh, my life definitely has changed. Uh, I would say as soon as I got onto the forum Slowly I was able to see um, who I was more than before. Uh, before I was really like, uh, why did I do that? Or what's the, why did I do that? You know, I mean, I was like a mystery to myself and it was very hard to fathom my own um, motivations, so. Uh, getting in touch with uh, self-honesty was a very huge key to unlock that uh, unseen self, so to speak, that was sort of, uh, <laughs> had taken over my life. <clears throat> it felt like a, long, a lot of times that I was, uh, I never really made any decision to sort of, sort of, took the path of least resistance, which sort of just seemed to pull me here and there. And I never really uh, directed myself. I mean, I never even, I mean, I might have thought I was directing myself, but I found out through self-honesty I had, I had not. Uh, but going back to, gee, the person I was three years ago, um, I was a nervous wreck, mostly. But I still, you know, I still, I still was, uh, you know, functioning, you know. Uh, I had filled my life up with, you know, distractions and, you know, work. And I had just left the relationship. Actually, she left. But which that actually helped because I was able to spend as much time as I wanted to uh, going over the Destiny material. <clears throat> While it wasn't a lot of material as it is now, three years later, uh, at the time it was still quite a bit, and uh, I was still um, sort of scoping them out because I wasn't a hundred percent sure what they were, where they were coming from until I would say maybe I had. Um, participated on the forum for about a month and I saw, okay, this is the real deal. Uh, what they're saying is making sense. It's not white light, uh, fluffy word nonsense that doesn't mean anything. Uh, this is really confrontational stuff that challenges all your assumptions. And if you're not willing to let your prized perspectives and formulations about reality, if you're, not, if you're not willing to let that go, you're just going to miss the whole thing. I mean, it hurts nobody to suspend judgment or question your own uh, assumptions. I mean, it doesn't hurt. <clears throat> but the people who have the most trouble with the Destiny message have assumptions they cannot let go of or will not let go of because they have invested so much time, energy, and knowledge, and it's theirs. You know, they've identified with it's mine. And uh, it just robs them of uh, an opportunity to expand their frame of reference. I mean, so much that we know and think we know is just opinion anyway. It's just opinion. We may say it's based on facts, Maybe some of it is, but not all of it. I mean, how, I mean, <laughs> how much could we say? 
we really know what's going on. I mean, even the conspiracy theorists or the Christians or the white lights seekers who are waiting for the aliens to come back in 2012. I mean, how much they really know is based on fact. If you're dealing with metaphysics, you're not basing anything on fact, it's all belief. Sounds good. It explains a great deal, but it's not factual. And um, what I liked about Destiny was that it was able to, I was able to apply what they were teaching and um, for myself, you know, I mean, in the metaphysics community, you have the law of attraction, which it's like, you think positive, you think positive, you think positive, and boom, you know, you're adding more positive energy to the world, apparently. <clears throat> and woe to you if you have a negative thought because you're adding to negativity. And if you notice something negative, like three billion people in the world living on 50 cents a day or less, you're adding more by just looking at it. Okay, so there's no way I could apply that because there's no way I could know if my mental powers had that great of effect on reality. Like, whoa, I just thought of three billion people starving, now there's more negativity. I couldn't prove that to myself. I could prove to myself that self-honesty uh, worked. I could prove to myself that self-forgiveness worked. If I applied it uh, correctly, um, you know, I'm not saying I'm self-honest. I am saying that I'm a lot more self-honest than I've ever been in my life. I'm saying that if you use the tools of just self-honesty and self forgiveness. I mean, just use it for a week, you know, and see if you don't notice something different about yourself. Um, it's, 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 it's just like that old saying, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, you just work it, you apply it. There's nothing mystical about it. Uh, I don't have to put St. Michael's purple power pyramid over my head to, um, become self-honest, I can just do this within myself. One thing that's kept up constant in those three years is the attacks that I was shocked to see at first. <clears throat> and, you know, uh, the board would get these people to come on saying, you know, you're phonies, you're brainwashing people, you're, you know, you're part of the Illuminati, you know, you're a part of Satan's plan to take people off the path of light and love and blah, blah, blah. And um, that was there at the beginning. It's still there now. Um, it seems the more popular you get, the more haters come onto the scene. And uh, these white light wannabes, uh, very, they think they're very clever, but they're not. I mean, the X manos X and the one true selves and the destiny truth, all these guys that are setting up fake YouTube channels, uh, trying to subvert and use disinformation and other deceptive tactics like lying and spreading false stories and uh, all this in service of the light, using deception as you know a valid tool to steer others away from destiny because we're dangerous. I mean, uh, that's, you know, to see that escalate is kind of interesting. Uh, you know, I mean, if we're not doing our job if we don't have haters, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that's actually a confirmation that we are stepping on some toes and making some people uncomfortable with their own self-dishonesties. And unfortunately, some people will become even more self-dishonest when confronted with their own self-dishonesty in order to save their, I don't know, their point of view. Their point of view has to be right. I'm saying um, it's always in your best interest to question your assumptions. And if you fall in love with your own perspective, 
and so that nothing else can come in that might widen it. I mean, you're just limiting yourself.